that you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, once again, folks on Zoom, please raise your hand if you do have questions. We'll start with questions in the room. But first, we introduce Tyler Lucy and Kaylee Kurtz after the Courage 2 nothing win over Portland. Tyler, we'll start with you. A goal and an assist tonight. Take us through the first one. It looked an awful lot like a goal you scored last year that turned into an assist. Um, and also, enjoy yourself. So take us through the first for you on the offensive end tonight. Yeah, obviously, we got a corner and Ash played a low cross and Kiki was there. And then she said, Move! I was literally like, I just <laughs> went my foot through it and it went in. And I was like, super excited. And yeah, it was a great ball. So yeah, it worked out, honestly. <laughs> and then the second one for you, the ball you played to Haley again, it looked a little bit like the goal you scored in the side netting last year, the way it came off your foot. I'm not going to ask you if it was a shot or a pass. That's totally up to you if you want to disclose that. But just take us through that, what you saw, and how you were able to double over. Yeah, definitely um, cut in and then kept cutting in, and then it was a shot cross, cross, whatever you want to call it, but Haley headed it in and went back to the net, and we are up 2-0, so that's all that mattered. <laughs> and then, KK, you know it's a tough task facing that front line that Portland brings, and they kept coming at you. It seemed like you had the answer all night long, this entire back line. Just take us through what you saw from the center back from your entire defense. It would have put up a clean sheet against a really good offensive team. Yeah, uh, I mean, they're definitely always a threat. Their speed in behind is always something that we have to be wary of, and it's something that we work on, um, trying to eliminate that and get as many like toe pokes, heads, whatever we can get on the ball to make sure that that doesn't happen. But I felt like we did that exact job, was we prevented every single one of the balls from getting in, in behind. We didn't really make it much of a foot race, except the one that I had a little blunder on. Uh, so, But we even on that one where Sophia Smith is running, 17 people we only have 11 on the field and 17 people are all running back like we are all so dedicated to clean sheets and it's not just our back line like we have everybody sprinting back on corners on any kind of transition so it doesn't matter who you are you're helping us make with that clean sheet finding a way to pull off the clean sheet against Gotham then doing it again against Portland here how can you build off of these last two games going forward hopefully just keep going like <laughs> Uh, for me, uh, one of my biggest assets is I'm really good at heading a ball. And I get oh, yeah. my head in the way. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to continue to do that and block as many things as I can. Um, hopefully I'm going to continue to build and work on different passes and different plays and uh, hopefully keep my feet a little bit more and not have her going behind and run up my back line and having to sprint back. But, you know, it's lessons learned and I'll watch the game and I'll cringe like crazy when I'm watching that play and I learn from it and I move on. We all thought everybody on the field was really, really good tonight. We thought Ryan was exceptional as well. And Tyler, yes. you were kind of playing that flip flop with her along that right side. How <laughs> nice is that to have kind of the complex? Now you played a little bit outside back. <laughs> How nice is it to kind of have that trust in each other, being combine up the right wing and kind of create that partnership on the side? Yeah, we really, I think we started last year that really good combination play and we work, work, work well off each other. Um, so just building off that and obviously with me dropping a little bit lower and combining uh, definitely worked. Um, but I've, I've had experience outside back, um, but would prefer Ryan to stay there. <laughs> um, but I'll do my job and obviously I'm going to secure and help defend um, as much as I can. So it was, it was a really good combination. I know she's going to run and make those runs and I just got to get her the ball. So, yeah. Um, going up against a former team of yours, does that give you just that little extra bit of energy? Um, it definitely did. Um, yeah, obviously I had, you know, a great five years in Portland. Um, grew a lot as a player and a person. And, uh, yeah, playing against them at our home field was definitely a little bit more special. So to get the win and, the, yeah, it was And a goal. And, and a goal, yeah, yeah, that definitely <laughs> felt pretty good. So, yeah, I'm just happy we won as a team. And then it just, you know, you talk about the back line, but also in the Um, she was dropping into great pockets, so I was able to find her a lot on you know, like through balls, trying to break lines. Um, and kudos to her; she has pressure almost always on her back, and she's turning away from that pressure. And you know, thank goodness I'm not a ten; I'm a center back, and I like everyone <laughs> in front of me. And I just think she's phenomenal. And her and Pinto are battling for that spot and just making it so so difficult for each other. But it, it with that competition, they're getting better and better and fighting. Fighting for that every single week is so exciting to watch. Like Pinto had an amazing week of training, and so did Minaka. And so, like, kudos to Minaka for getting the start tonight. But Pinto is also doing the same things, and she's holding up the ball. She can spin, she can turn. Minaka's doing the same thing. And she, I don't know how she whittles her way out of pressure, but okay. <laughs> a little magician. Yeah, that's a fierce one. Um, kind of your trajectory from when you first got to the 
first started with the drugs ah, and now. Lord. What is your, you know, what was, what's the thing that's just kind of kept you centered as you've grown? Therapy. You know, therapy. <laughs> therapy has kept me centered. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, I've had a lot of ups and downs here. I uh, rode the bench for four years, learned a lot from the center backs that were here before, and Abby Erseg and Abby Dahl Kemper. Um, took that, and then I also watch an incredible amount of film, almost too much, and uh, I love watching the men's game, so I try and watch like Ronald Arulio, uh, Virgil van Dijk, Ruben Diaz, and I try and learn from their mistakes, from their passes, from their vision, and so um, that just kind of helped keep me centered, is trying to learn from those that are better than me and those that came before me. Um, and then to try my best to keep an open mind with my teammates. And sometimes, you know, like no one wants to hear what you're doing wrong, but whenever I can just get feedback and try and bounce it off of Ryan or Malia and be like, okay, yeah. And, and take it in stride instead of being like, well, I, you know, and freaking out about whatever they're saying and how I, how I messed up, uh, just trying to take that in stride. Yeah. I think also we have a really good team culture as well. So we're able to give each other feedback and it's, it's for growth as mm -hmm. all of us as players, as a team. Obviously, every game we want to get better. Um, and I've seen that, obviously, with KK, too. So, And I've had a similar experience with five years at Portland on the bench uh, coming in and learning from Christine Sinclair. Um, so obviously Legend. playing against her, yeah. So it, it's definitely just that growth and everything. And um, just keep striving forward every single day. Yeah, never being satisfied yeah. with where you are. Yeah. Uh, Tyler, I saw you do a hard emoji with uh, um, the uh, obviously, one of our slogans is for the love, the courage. So, obviously, love for the fans to come out and had a really good support. Um, and then, obviously, for my friends and family and boyfriend who was here. So, yeah. Anything via Zoom? Last call. Tyler, go ahead. I had a question for KK. Um, Dan Sanderson on the broadcast specifically mentioned like the risk rewards. Um, you and Malia like, playing one on breaking balls from the back in this game. Um, I feel like it's come with years of making a lot of errors, uh, and the coach is not just taking me off the field immediately after those errors and getting to sit with them and learn from them. Um, so kudos to them. Like it, when you enter this league after sitting on the bench for however many years, it takes a little bit of time to get used to the speed of play. It's, and you know, as even in this amazing environment of our training environment, Games are always faster. It's just kind of how it is, and the pitch is a little bit wet, so it skips different. And so, to just get you, you need a little time to get used to that speed of play. Um, and kudos to players that don't need that. I certainly needed years of it. Um, but our coaching staff just allows us to, in practice to make mistake and mistake. And it's not like you make two errors and then you're losing your starting spot the next week. You know, you have to do something really significantly bad to get that spot taken away from you. And so there's a little bit of a comfort there, knowing that like this is my spot and someone has to really fight me on it to, and I need to perform really poorly to have someone take it from me. So that gives me a little bit of comfort to try and make those different plays, different passes. But he also wants us to play a certain style and it's very much possession-based. And sometimes that means being a little bit more forward and breaking lines and taking risks. And luckily we have an amazing back four and 11 that you know if we do make a mistake everyone is like i said sprinting back and going to help each other out and hopefully we get that clean sheet thank you thank you thank you anyone else need a zoom don't once don't twice okay, okay sold Woo! thank you very much